Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice algebra equation solution from here? And what we have here, I multiply this x times x times x, that's x raised to the power 3 minus x times x, that's x raised to the power 2 equals to 48 on this side. The next step here, we take 48 to the left hand side and we have x raised to the power 3 minus x raised to the power 2 then minus 48 then equals to 0 here. The next step here, we can express 48 as 64 minus 16. And then here, what we have becomes x raised to the power 3 minus x raised to the power 2 then minus into bracket. 64 minus 16 close brackets then equals to 0 here then here we have minus open this bracket and we have x raised to the power 3 minus x raised to the power 2 then minus 64 plus 16 equals to 0 here the next step here we can express 64 as 4 times 4 times 4 that's 4 raised to the power 3 and also 16 as 4 times 4, that's 4 raised to the power 2. Then here, yeah, this equation becomes x raised to the power 3 minus x raised to the power 2, then minus 4 raised to the power 3 plus 4 raised to the power 2, then equals to 0 here. Also, here we bring the power of 3 together. We have x raised to the power 3 minus 4 raised to the power 3. Then power of 2 together, we have minus x raised to the power 2 plus 4 raised to the power 2. Then equals to 0 here, which also we can write as x raised to power 3 minus 4 raised to power 3 into brackets. Then minus is common here, minus into bracket x raised to power 2, then minus 4 raised to power 2, close brackets, equals to 0 here. As this here, this bracket follows when we have a raised to power 3 minus b raised to power 3. This is the same thing as a minus b into bracket open bracket a square plus a b plus b square and also the second bracket a follows now we have a square minus b square this same thing as a minus b into bracket open bracket a plus b that is here what we have follow this and becomes x minus 4 into bracket then open bracket x square plus 4x plus 4 square, close bracket, then minus, yeah, this other bracket also becomes x minus 4 into bracket, then open bracket x plus 4, close bracket, then equals to 0 here. At this here, we have x minus 4 common, when we factor it out, we have x minus 4 into bracket, here we mean x square plus 4x, plus 4 square that's 16 then here we mean minus into bracket x plus 4 close bracket and close bracket equals to 0 here at this here minus open this bracket we have x minus 4 into brackets and open bracket this becomes x square plus 4x plus 16 then we have minus x minus 4 close bracket equals to zero here then next step here we have x minus 4 into bracket then open bracket x square 4x minus x equals plus 3x then 16 minus 4 that's plus 12 close bracket equals to zero here at this here we have two possible cases first one x minus 4 equals to 0 or we have x squared plus 3x plus 12 equals to 0 here and solving on this side we have x equals to 4 which is a real solution here then here we have a quadratic equation where a equals to 1 b equals to 3 and c equals to 12 and applying the quadratic formula, which is x equals to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a. Then what we have here becomes x equals to minus 3 
plus or minus square root of 3 squared minus 4 times 1 times 12 over 2 times 1. That is here, we have x equals to minus 3 plus or minus square root of 3 squared as 9. Then minus 4 times 1 times 12. That gives us 48. Then all over 2 here. That is here we have x equals to minus 3 plus or minus square root of 9 minus 40 that's minus 39 over 2 here. That is here we have x equals to minus 3 plus or minus square root of 39 times minus 1 over 2. And when we have root a times b, we can separate this as root a times root b. That is, here yeah, we have x equals to minus 3 plus or minus root 39 times root minus 1 all over 2. Then, this becomes x equals to minus 3 plus or minus root 39. Then root minus 1 is i over 2. Here yeah, we have two complex solutions from here. And therefore, altogether here yeah, we have three solutions in this given problem. One is solution and two complex solutions. That is, I write that down. We have x1 equals to 4, x2 equals to minus 3 plus root 39 r over 2, then x3 equals to minus 3 minus root 39 i over 2, which implies here yeah, we have one re and two complex solutions here. And when we check from here, substitute x equals to 4, we discover that this equation becomes 4 times 4 times 4 minus 4 times 4. Is it equals to 48 on this side? 4 times 4 times 4. That's 64. Minus 4 times 4. That's 16. Is this equals to 48 on this side? And 64 minus 16. Of course, that's 48. It is equals to 48 on this side. Left hand side is equals to the right hand side. Then s equals to 4 satisfy this given problem. When we check for the complex solution as well, it's, go, it's going to satisfy the given problem. And thank you for watching. Don't forget to stay, subscribe for more videos and turn the notification bell. Or share this video, give it a thumbs up, and put your comment. See you next class and bye for now.